All right, don't forget to talk it out. Is it already going? It's recording, yes. Hello, I am going to make a very beautiful picture. And it's going to be like difficult. Okay. So, fun. first now I'm going to use a marker right here to record this. I am recording this and using the camera to record how I draw this. So, I'm going to make an Eric. But actually, I want to move a fish type to create it. Now, what you really want to worry about is about the uh, spines across. We well, can't forget the gills. Drawing a fish is a little bit hard. You want to get everything you can kind of right. If I have any ideas to add to it, you just need to like do this. So, if you wanted to add stripes, you can do that. Or polka dots, you can do that. But just don't forget the gills in the eye. And also, I added a little bit spikes. Do this. So that way. Now that I have drawn this out, I have to, I'm going to use my medium small brush, correct right there, and then first I'm going to add a little bit blue, getting a little bit black from my eye first, and kind of get that right there, but I also... I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that there, and then uh, I gotta get that. I'm gonna get some little. I'm gonna get some. I'll get some kind of purple right there and mix it. It's more of a dark. Now that's a good one. You just want to make sure you don't get outside the line. Let me clean my brush. Now we're going to do the stripes. They are black. So we're going to add a little bit more of that. And more of that to add right there. But this time, we're going to need a little bit, actually that one. You want the stripes to have a really good respond. I made a dark purple so that way we don't have to uh, worry about using a small brush. A medium brush can do really well if you just know how to make a painting with a small brush. For once, I'm using a medium sized brush. I don't know why, but I know that if you go outside the line, your painting might just go ruined. Now, you need a little bit more outline, so I'm going to add a little bit more of that, like that, to make, to kind of draw out this, these gills. You need a little bit more black. Just making a fish kind of a little bit want that fin to like stick out away from. But you also want there are stripes, but they're all different types of stripes. You don't want them ruined. Now, actually, you're supposed to put these around, and there are the little purple to put them around. Get the purple and draw over it. So that way, 
You can see your painting. Now that you have that, you should get some red. You should get some red right there. Ooh, nice red. And scatter it all around. Make sure you get it nice and around. So that is the body. And get a little bit more red. Mix it with this. Add more red. Back there. Get some green. And mix it all together. And then you got a perfect new kind of red. If you put that there, it makes more of a shadow. See how it makes a little bit of a shadow. I like this, I never actually mix a lot because I kind of not like it very much. But really, you want orange to be kind of orange, kind of makes the tail a bit more look like a goldfish. Add it to the red, it's gonna make a brown, that's not very good. Well, what you want is a little green stripes on the tail, actually. You don't wait, you don't want something that will fade from the orange. You might get a little bit dirty, but if you get dirty, just get a rag or something. And that's kind of it. So now I just need to kind of clean myself up with the rag. Okay, we're on to the next step. Now we're going to make that outside. We're adding a, now we're just going to like splatter it around. A little bit of green splattered around. We're going to splat it around there. We're going to splat it around there. We're just going to splat it around. Okay, now I've got to clean my brush again. And get some really good blue. Yeah, that's a lot better blue. That's a lot better. That's nice. So cool. We're gonna add a little bit of a shadow. It's really dark here. And as it goes, it gets a little bit brighter and brighter and brighter. But if you just mix with that little green, and if you take the orange away from the, uh, from the fish, it might the, make the fish a little bit too big. So you don't want it too big. You just want the shadow to really stick out right there. Yeah, that's kind of it. You want the shadow the most on the bottom. That's the kind of shadow you want. And then you just want to get it in water with the... You don't want to shake the color off. You just gotta make sure you get that blue on right there. Okay, it is now completely dry, 
it's still a little bit wet. We're gonna add a little bit more of the blue. So that's the fish right there. So now we need to color the fish out so that way you don't actually over you where you can't see the fish swimming in the water. Now you don't want to get too dirty. You don't want to get really dirty. But if you want, get a little dark right into that shadow. The, the dark blue can add a little dark. Some dark little spots on the tail and on the body. But now you gotta make sure you collect all that green to make sure we just make sure you collect it. It's really important that you collect it. And I am not kidding. You gotta collect it. Going, I'm not still working on it, but I have been talking through. Okay. So, next up, like the second step before you're all done, all you need to do is just add a little bit of green to this water. You got some green right there, and then you gotta kind of spread it around. Now spread out that green. You really want the green out to be spreading. Okay. Now you can draw the sides and use black as a poster. Just and you just want to have that black. I don't know why that black's so dark. But it makes a great poster. Add a little bit of green there and there. And that's how you make a fish. That is pretty much it. So that was the end of this video. But I, I'll see you next time on Rylan Painting Job.